artwork so I'm going to start with the um, eyes this time around as more areas have been sketched out and finished And there we go. Hey, I'm Leila. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial will be dedicated to Inktober. As you all know, well, most of you probably know because it has been very popular over the past few years. Every October, you see lots of ink sketches, drawings that pop up all over the place. So I hope you give it a go this year doesn't matter if you're an artist, if you're just trying to learn, I think it will be very beneficial. And I will cover some of those tips, um, why it's, it might be beneficial for you during the um, actual tutorial. I'm going to use black ink pen on white paper to draw a wolf. Now you guys can follow along or you can just watch and relax because it will be another one of those relaxing asmr -ish style videos. First of all, let's have a look at what can you use to sketch during Inktober. And it can be really anything, any kind of a pen. Starting from something that you might have in your bag, any color, anything. Maybe even a funky color like this one, this is purple, it's got lots of shades here. You can use just your sort of a regular but fine line pens you can just use your whatever something that just happens to be everywhere you can also use inks like Indian ink you can also use felt tip pens um, you, generally you can find these by a few different brands and they can come in different sizes as well you can use really cool funky colors so this is a this is an um it's a ball ink pen um but it's green here is another one red this one's beautiful just beautiful color so you can really go with the flow go with your imagination and don't let uh, the fact that maybe you're missing some materials to stop you from doing inktober just go ahead any kind of paper will do any kind of pen will do and uh, please remember as well that you can create any kind of a sketch you can do something very quick you can do something that might take quite a bit of time to complete so this is what I wanted to show you today and I wanted to do sort of a longer slower sketch that you could follow along with me too but yeah it's completely up to you you can go with something very quick or something quite slow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a wolf today And I'm starting with a pencil because I want to do a reasonably careful sketch. So this is going to be the area for the head. A little bit of the body that we can see. And ears. Like this. So that would make it easier for me to mark the eyes. Eyes are quite close together, like most predators have. And then the nose, I'm just going to mark it with a circle first. going to mark some of the fur markings that will also help me structure the face a little bit better I'm 
so now I have roughly sketched things through I am going to sketch the eyes in a little bit more detail now and the eyes are very dog-like well they are dogs or dogs or wolves however you'd like to see it okay so just some more of those fur um, directions This is starting to look like what I'd imagine Akella to look like, you know, from Mowgli. And now just a little bit more detail out here, just correcting the shape a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to remove these pencil marks because they are very sketchy. They are very sort of light. Um, I would not suggest doing any shading in pencil. First of all, you don't really need to uh, because because you will be because you will be doing most of your shading with using an ink pen or anything else with ink that you would be um, employing in your artwork so i'm going to start with the um, eyes this time around the reason why i'm starting with the eyes here is because i want them to be the anchor for the whole composition because it's really hard to erase pen or remove it it's better to um, mark the little highlights that you would like to leave white paper like that and then when you go to shade areas around it in you know that these are the areas that you're going to keep white if you have gone over these parts or maybe later on you've decided oh well, it would be nice to have a couple of highlights you can always use um, acrylic paint and just dab a little bit on top but to keep it truly ink on paper well it doesn't really matter if it's on paper for inktober you can draw anywhere you can um, reserve little spots like that Now let's talk about what Inktober is for. It's pretty much this month of October that sets a bit of a challenge for artists, newbies, or just people who want to try art out to spend the whole month sketching things. And you should aim to do a sketch a month. There are even lists that you would probably be able to find online where you can actually get specific challenges like on the first day you draw a sword, on the next day you draw something to do with pressure or you know just different different um, ideas that might help you or put you in the direction of something you haven't tried before. So the whole thing is just to practice. Spend a whole month not worrying about what the final outcome would look like, but just creating a drawing a day. Now the kind of a drawing that I'm doing here, it's a very um, detailed drawing. See, I've even pre-mapped everything with a pencil because I want things to be in the right place. But what you can do is you can do really quick little sketches anywhere and that's the beauty of it. You can draw on a napkin in a cafe with a pen that you have with you. You can get yourself one of those little sketchbooks and dedicate a page for each day and work with that. You can use one pen to create your drawing you can use lots of different ones so 
what I'm doing now here is I am creating the shades but I'm also um, uh, looking at the fur direction at the moment I'm not going too dark I'm just mapping things out because later I will be able to come back and add more of the darkness some other dark areas like here very black and here as well about the ears dark fur sort of a folding inwards and the fur here is a little bit longer and fluffier it's so funny how there are so many animals that look like completely different animals depending on time of year like for example a summer wolf looks so much more like a dog than a winter wolf winter wolf they just look like wolves because their fur is so much longer and lighter and just coarse and fluffy at the same time and summer ones they sort of just look like brown dogs when I was younger I used to be fascinated with wolves I read so many different books and articles and things like that especially you know information when a couple of centuries ago they would be attacking people and dogs you know in those years when it's really cold and specifically very little food for them so they become braver form big groups and go into villages or you know nearby areas and anyone stranded in the forest night time no way that's it you're a goner <laughs> so you can see how all throughout I'm just going over the really dark areas and marking those through already see the wolf looking at us and pretty much you can even stop there you know it only depends on how detailed and how completed you want your work to look no rules about what it is and that's I've actually had few people asking me differences between sketching and drawing a sketch is something quite quick something like this is a sketch but if you sit there for another i don't know 40 minutes an hour to finish everything perfectly that's a finished complete drawing and you can see how when you're drawing with pen you can work with shades of course you know the value what's dark what's light by putting marks really close together or spaced out quite a bit but whether it's a blessing or a curse, it's up to you to decide. You cannot smudge anything. You cannot create really soft, a very smooth surfaces. It just, it just doesn't happen with the ink pen. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you place your marks, your pen strokes, in the specific direction with the specific shape so you need to think carefully about how you place it because remember you can't erase it as well so that's another thing of why it is so cool to do the inktober if you guys want to do it because it's you know it's very raw it's you can't go over it you can't this is what you've done that's it and if you do a drawing a day that will really help you to up your skill level it's great for that so and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner 
it might inspire you to take things up a little bit more seriously or if you are a professional artist you might find that this doing something like this will take you out of your comfort zone and get you to try new things because it happens a lot uh, with artists you know you sort of have a specific style and specific media that you work in and you get stuck in it and that's that you sort of don't don't get out of it at all it doesn't mean that you need to change your style completely but just for your own development it can be quite good to try new things you know sort of look outside the box a bit okay so few strokes there And Inktober doesn't mean everything has to be black and white. As I said before, you can use other colored pens if you want to. Or you can always say, for example, I don't know if this pen is, but if it's water resistant, then you can always apply a wash of watercolor over the sketch, or you know, you could do it underneath, not with this paper, this is drawing paper, but if you are using watercolor paper, you definitely could use that could be really cool. If you are using a ballpoint paint like this with ink, you can always um, do this where if you're pressing like this, you're getting quite a strong line. If, you, if you're using a light hand and not pressing too hard, you're getting a thinner line. If you hold it on an angle like that, you can get very different textures with using the same pen. I hope that helps you guys if you if you start drawing. Okay, so see how because first I've marked up the dark areas and now that more and more of the fur that gets placed on these dark areas become appear lighter. So what I'm going to need to do is once I do a little bit more work on here, I would have to go over some of them. And they're such beautiful animals. Oops. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to go and check out my Patreon page where you can support me to create more videos here on YouTube and also get some extra videos for yourself or even go into the drawer to win the sketches that I create here on YouTube. Whenever you really want to darken an area and you are using a cross etching technique with pencil or a ink pen, doesn't matter, you can always do this so while you're going in one direction you can switch over and go across and the more across you go, see, the darker this area becomes so just another little tip for those of you who are watching to learn going over the pupils again just to make sure that they're as dark as we can possibly get them but more shadow okay and this is what I'm talking about where I'm going over some of the 
areas that I've marked up before and now I need to make them darker as more areas have been sketched out and finished because the fur over here is very, sh it's very short I'm even starting to use this technique where I'm just sort of going in little circles like this making different marks to the way I was doing them before and you know choosing different so you can do things like that as well when using pens mark mark mark, mark making sorry is your friend that's something that can really really help you showing textures just taking your work to another level because these areas under the eyes are quite dark I'm sort of just going over them in the opposite direction of the fur glow just to create that now these marks you'd think why would you put them in there they sort of go against how the fur growth is going but what they do is they help you show the volume because animals are rounded you know it's a rounded head so that helps you more with depicting the 3d and it sort of just gives that extra depth you know three-dimensional depth and linear depth as well you know like in terms of texture of those lines it's a little bit gray just around the eyes so I do that by creating little dots I mean if you had lots of time you could do a whole sketch by just doing dots but that will take you a long time so make sure you don't have any matters that you need to attend just you can sit there for days and finish that beautiful little drawing now I'm just going to carefully place a few of these little things up come back to it I probably need to do some more work on the ears but before I do that I wanted to go onto the sketching of the body and you can see how I'm starting up just like I did there on the face with the full strength short little lines here The spin is cracked so it keeps rotating. There's a very dark line there. So now I'm holding my pen sideways so that I get the really soft wispy line going. Another reason why you would want to try something for 
a month is that it has been proven already um, scientifically that if you want to bring any kind of change into your lifestyle like for example if you decide to start exercising every day or you want to quit smoking or you want to you know bring something else you know start cooking for yourself every day um, in the beginning it will be quite hard but it takes about 28 days for you to kind of really take that new way of life in which means if you are taking up Inktober by the end of Inktober you'd say okay that's it no more drawing and then you're gonna crave it <laughs> which can be quite cool so if any of you have done it and that happened to you please let me know in the comments it will be very interesting to know about this Also, if you are a complete beginner and you haven't done any drawing and you find it difficult to follow this one, I have some um, really beginners um, follow along and tutorials on my channel, so please have a look. I've got some even with pencils and things like that that you can watch and you can pick up a lot of knowledge from there. Okay, just a bit more shadow there and there. Now let's have a look at the mouth, add more shadows. And see if we need to And the nose needs darkening even more. See, it always happens like this. Once you go over some of the areas, you come back to the ones that seem dark at the time, but I really need more darkening. And you see, now that we've darkened that part, we need to add more shade in here. So you always cross check this to the side to that. Okay, now I want to have a look a little bit at the ears. darkening that line and this one here and here we kind of started with them and now I'm going over them again because we're so close to getting this finished just some areas I really want to bring out by really really deepening them and with a pen the only way you can do it is just by going over and over and over I think this could be really good as well done with blue blue ink as well then it will have sort of a real winter feel or could also be done in brown ink as well which will make it more the summer roof
these little finishing touches before it is completely finished. And the longer you make the fur, you know, the more winter it will look and the shorter you make the fur, the, more, the, fur, the more summery it will look. Just some finishing touches again. And there we go. It's done. Now before I completely finish it, I will show you how you can actually use other pins and mix them as well. So I don't really need to do it here, but I will just do it just to show you, you know, because some of you might want to do this for Inktober and stuff like this. So this is a softer pin. It's not as dark and you can use it for lighter fur. That way you can create lots of texture without creating a lot of shadow. And so on, and for example, something like eyes that can be very useful. Um, you can also use the window sketches that I create here. Yeah, these on pins YouTube. as well. And say this has a really thick um, side so you can for example like if you need to cover something and you can just do that straight away you know without having to spend too much time creating all those little shadows and things like that so it really is up to you which materials you want to use you can use things like Indian ink for example and you can get it in the bottle so you can just you know use the um, deep the sort of whatever it's called a quill pen or feather pen um, and um, you can um, create really beautiful, it also dries quite shiny as well, so the surface, the black surface will look almost like it's a print, you know, because it's so shiny. Um, yeah, so things like that, and you can, you can create different marks and, you know, with different materials. So you can give this one a go, or you can work on something else in a similar way. Um, it's up to you, but uh, it would be really good, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get into art, to try Inktober, you know, where every day you sketch something. And now, those of you who have sketched it out with pencil first, like I did, but you have really strong pencil lines showing, you can always wait for this to dry. That's a very important thing. You wait for this to dry because you can still smudge ink, which is not fully dry and then you can go in and erase any of the um, pencil marks i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe and press the notification bell and i would also like to take this chance to say big big thank you to all of my patrons on patreon and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as always, thank you for drawing with me. <laughs>